Hi, this is Tamara Lackey for Redefine Show with Adorama TV, and on this episode, we walk through how to wirelessly transfer images from your DSLR to your mobile device, whether or not you even have a Wi-Fi enabled camera. Adorama TV presents The Redefine Show with Tamara Lackey. So I'm here with the Nikon D750. I've been shooting with this camera for the last month and a half or so, and I am incredibly impressed with not only the uh, ease of using it, the video capabilities, and the quality of the files. I will be circling back to give another review in depth with the D750, but for right now, let's talk about how you can use the Wi-Fi built into this camera to transfer images to your mobile devices. If you, this of course is one camera that has Wi-Fi built in. There are multiple cameras now that do. Um, the process I'm about to show you will work for these as well as if you have a camera that does not have built-in Wi-Fi, you can use a wireless mobile adapter that you can buy and plug into your camera and do the exact same process I'm about to show you. This is Tamara Lackey. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win some fabulous prizes. So I'm here with my Nikon D750 and I'm looking at a few images I just shot outside the studio, just walked around and took some photographs. And uh, what I want to do is transfer these images to my mobile device. Whether you have an iOS or an Android, you can do this uh, pretty simply. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into my menu and go into the setup menu here on the, on the side, the little wrench, and I'm going to click Wi-Fi and then it says network connection. I'm going to click that and simply click enable. That's all I'm going to do as far as the camera goes. Next, I go back to my mobile device. So the one thing that you have to do before you start doing this ongoing, and it's just a one-time thing, is you want to download the Nikon Mobile Utility app. That is a free app. Um, you just download that to your device. And uh, Nikon suggests that you go ahead and secure your network because you're basically creating a network between your camera and your mobile device, similar to downloading a router and wanting to go ahead and put a password on it when people don't drive by your house and steal your wireless. So I'm going to go into um, the mobile app and you can see here that you can either take photos from your mobile device or view photos. But let's go ahead and connect the DSLR to the phone. So I'm going to click back here and go into my settings and my Wi-Fi is already going. I have it hooked up to my studio network, but I'm going to scroll down here and I see right here the Nikon wireless option. I click that. I wait for it to connect. The nice thing about this is I can make this wireless connection whether I'm in a park or at a client site or any sort of place that doesn't even have Wi-Fi. I don't need that because I can create it this way. So I've got that set up. I go ahead and pull out and then I click, I just go right into the mobile app. And I mentioned I have these two options. Uh, let's look at the take photos real quick. If I click take photos and I turn my camera on, I now can operate my camera from my phone by simply clicking and setting up focus based on where I want to take a photograph. And I can go ahead and take a picture right there and I can make adjustments as needed. That's pretty cool. It'll immediately download, and by the way, I have this set to a raw file, but let's go back to the view photos, which I wanted to show you. Um, it immediately is calling in the pictures on my D750. So I go ahead and click there, and I look at the photographs I have just recently taken walking around the studio, and I say, okay, I like that one. I can click on it and see it big. Again, this is a raw file, and I can select that image. I can go back. Um, I might want to select multiple images, even right here from the screen. I can just do that, and I want that one, and I want that one, and I like that one, and I simply hit download. It confirms how many images I want to download. I say yes, and it starts downloading these raw files at a pretty nice size. It can give you the raw image, or it will have you a recommended size based on what you prefer to do. It downloads those files, and they go right into my camera roll on my phone. So I click out. I go into my camera roll, and then I look and see those images I just downloaded from my camera right here on my phone. And it really is as simple as that. If I do not have Wi-Fi built into my camera, I can actually buy the wireless mobile adapter, click it right in, and have the same sort of functionality that I have that's built into the cameras right now. Thanks so much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will check back. Otherwise, 
Tune back in for our next Redefined show, and don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV for all kinds of wonderful photography education. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.